Allah bil lamin shaitan rajim bismillah rahman rahim my good friends i hope you're doing well <clears throat> i'm i'm going to share with you some of the research that i've been busy with and uh, it um, pertains to the idea of salah again and um, you know the explanation that i've offered you um, in past videos about the nature of the idea salah now if you study the word salah throughout the quran in all its occurrences um, you cannot come to the conclusion that salah means prayer that's the one argument that i've presented to you secondly when you study the word salah in ancient books before the time of the prophet muhammad alayhi salam you cannot find the meaning salah co um, being um, corroborated by the word prayer because the word salah was also used by christians and it always referred to some sort of liaison coming together alignment engagement session or just in an abstract sense and i just i want to offer you in this brief video just another solid proof of the meaning salah not referring to a ritual practice but to a form of liaison alignment engagement coming together and yes i agree the quran does speak about liaison sessions and what you should understand by this is that the quran refers to salah both in its abstract sense so in other words liaison alignment engagement as an abstract requirement right as an abstract requirement what does it mean what does liaison and alliance uh, sorry alignment mean in a in an abstract sense well what it means is that people should work together liaise align with the law with the book and should liaise align and engage with law in its general sense order <coughs> um, social discipline in its general sense and that is the abstract meaning of salah is for social order social adherence liaison um, alignment and that is the meaning of the word salah in its abstract sense in its literal and as a as a as a common noun it refers to an act of liaison an act of adherence an act of coming together so you 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 find both of these usages of the term in the holy quran the quran refers to the quran to the salat in general in its general sense being committed being adherence being aligned to the central law which is the quran but also being aligned and generally engaged with other forms of social of the social contract so in other words abiding by the law whether it's the traffic laws which is formulated by people as a social contract um, or abiding to the central law which is the divine law as espoused or laid out in the holy text and that is salat salat means alignment social order social cohesion and that is really the meaning of salah on a literal simple way it means coming together having a session having a get together and both of these are referred to in the quran and we know from many of the verses that there are routine liaisons on a daily basis that we should partake in but now here comes the point of this video to to, to, to bear this point out a bit further, I found an amazing article and it relates to an amazing verse in the Quran. And let me show you this and you'll really be very uplifted in your Iman if you see this. Let me show you the verse firstly. Okay, so here's the verse I want to speak to you about. In this verse, there's no way that this verse can refer to Salah in a ritual form. <clears throat> because this verse says alam tara anna allah yusabbih lahu man fi samawati wal ard do you not see that allah everything in the heavens and on the earth extols his praises 
والصف والطير صفاتي كل قد علم صلاته and the bird with outstretched wings the bird with outstretched wings knows its salah والطير صفات كل قد علم صلاته the bird with outstretched wings knows its salah now this there's no way that you can plug in the meaning of salat being a ritual sequence here the bird knows its salah yes there are some of you that's going to tell me now or that's going to write in the comments yeah but anwar you're talking nonsense the birds do make salah no they don't they don't they don't they don't follow the rules of salah as written in by in shafi'i or hanafi fiqh or whatever yes the quran says they they know salah so they obviously do know salah but you need to correct your understanding of salah before this verse will make sense to you you see the idea of salah being 50 little detailed minutia that you must do in order to serve allah that is where you're making the mistake that is not what salah is look at the translation where i bring in the understanding of salah as being alignment then you see how this verse suddenly makes sense let's look at it now do you not see that whatever is in the heavens and the earth pays homage to allah observe the bird gliding with open wings how it knows its liaison engagement alignment you see the only way this verse makes sense is if you understand salah to be in to mean liaison engagement or alignment so the bird knows how to be aligned and we know it goes on to speak about the tasbih and they also and for another discussion tasbih means to go yonder to go yonder or to make go yonder that is why we say subhanallah make allah beyond make allah great tasbih means migration in a literal sense so the bird glides and it knows its alignment but now don't take my word for it don't take my word for it i've got a scientific journal here for you look at this look at this paper from a journal called um uh, uh, biologist.com um, and there's an article written here 2019 article very very new fairly recent research magnetic body alignment in migratory songbirds a computer vision approach from the scientific paper and i'm not going to read the whole paper but i'm going to give you maybe some of the abstract here it says special invertebrate and vertebrate species have been shown to align their body relative to the geomagnetic field many hypotheses have been proposed to explain the adaptive significance of magnetic body alignment outside the context of navigation however experimental evidence to suggest alternative hypotheses is still limited we present a new setup to track the preferential body alignment relative to the geomagnetic field in captive animals using computer vision we tested our method on th three species of migratory songbirds and provide evidence that they align their body with the geomagnetic field i rest my case i rest my case my good friends the verse in the quran says observe the bird gliding with open wings it knows its alignment and its migration the word salai is not a prayer it is a form of alignment of of coherence of engagement of liaison with society with the law of allah and as we can see uh, this verse that speaks about the salah of the bird the bird who knows its salah is corroborated very very clearly by scientific research that finds in the final point here that on with migratory songbirds and provide evidence that they align the body with a geomagnetic field the idea of alignment in birds 
is the same idea that we should have is to align ourselves to the will of Allah, to the rules, to the laws of Allah, and to other socially constructed laws and rules which serve the interests of mankind, of humanity, and the rest of humanity. And I just thought, let me leave this amazing uh, point with you that the idea of Salah being, being in alignment with Allah, with His law, with the book, with the code, and how birds also use that alignment with nature, with the magnetic fields, to guide themselves, to fly in the right direction, to reach their destinations. And that is the concept of Salah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.